What's up boys, today I'll be showing you guys how to make replica builds on current gen for NBA 2K23. I'm not going to waste you guys this time though, let's just hop straight in, but make sure you guys leave a like on the video and subscribe. We are now on the road to 17,000 subscribers, so I seriously would appreciate you guys. Now let's hop in and make these replica builds. Let's start off with Stephen Curry, a one that a lot of people are going to want to use, obviously. So let's start with Steph Curry here. So position is obviously point guard. You have to make his heinous right, and you guys can make your jersey number really whatever you guys want, although I'd just go with 30 if you guys are really trying to make like Stephen and curry so this is gonna be replica build what i recommend doing is making him 6'2 and then 185 so make him 6'2 185 and then have the wingspan at 6'4 it does not matter the body shape so 6'2 185 6'4 wingspan all right let's move on now and start setting these attributes so for close shot here you want this to be at 87 so make the close shot here an 87 so 87 close shot and then we want for driving layup we want an 88 so 88 driving layup is what we're looking for Driving dunk, we want this to be at a 28. So I went way too far there. I want 28 for the driving dunk. Standing dunk is going to stay at a 25. I don't know why I'm moving because that's supposed to be at a 25 still. And then post control is just going to move up to a 28. So that is what it looks like for finishing right there. Moving on to shooting here. Let's go ahead and set our shooting right here. Obviously, we're going to have a lot of three-pointer here. We need 85 mid-range. So 85 mid-range for Steph Curry here. 85. And then it's still kind of low to be honest, but 92 three-point. You think if you're making a Curry build, you want the three-point to be a little bit higher. But then we want the free throw up here to be an 87. Then we want the pass accuracy to be an 86. Ball handle needs to be set to a 92. And then we want the speed with the ball to be up to an 87. And you are set for shooting, finishing, and now playmaking. But now we have to move on to defense. We have to make this interior to a 30. Perimeter, we're going to have this pretty high. Curry, pretty good defender. I want to make an 80 overall for a perimeter. Stealing is going to be up to a 64. So 64 for the perimeter right there. Blocking, let's set the block here to a 46. So 46 for blocking, and then 31 offensive rebounding, and then 60 defensive rebounding. So this is what the defensive stats look like here. So that is exactly what you guys want right here. Now moving on to physical stats. We need the physical stats to be moved here. We need the speed to be up to a 78. So 78 speed. Then we need 78 excel, 48 strength. And then after we have the 48 strength there, we want to move our vertical to a 70. Once you guys are set there, you're good. And then 98 stamina. So you want to pretty much almost max it out to 98. Unfortunately, though, you cannot get it to 98. It's stuck at 97. So it is going to be stuck at 27. But now you have a couple extra points to move around and make it whatever you guys want. You guys can upgrade to the vertical if you guys want, the free throw, the stealing, all that different stuff. We'll put a lot on the stealing just because. But that is pretty much how you guys can make Stephen Curry's replica build. Now let's continue here. We are 99 overall. It does not matter which takeovers you guys want to pick. We'll go spot up shooter and shot creator. It does not matter. Let's finish the build right here. You guys will see that we have made a Stephen Curry replica build. So he's a playmaking shot creator. He doesn't have like the chef name like he does on next gen, unfortunately, but it's still Stephen Curry's replica build from next gen. You're literally playing with Curry. It just doesn't have a cool name. That's literally the only difference between next gen and current gen. Next up, let's go with Dwayne Wade. Let's go shooting guard. And then we're going to make the number here, number three. So number three for Dwayne Wade here. A guy that a lot of people still probably will want. He's a shooting guard. Make sure you guys have it set to shooting guard. You're going to make him 6'4", and we're going to give him the weight of 212. So make him a little bit heavier, 212, 6'4", height. And then for the wingspan, you guys want 6'10". So 6'4", 212, 6'10", two, right there for the uh, wingspan. Moving on to the actual attributes, though. We have to make our close shot a 85. So close shot is going to be an 85. Moving on here. Well, we have to make that an 85. So let's bump that up a little bit more. Let's go to 85. And then driving layup, we need this to be an 89. So 89 driving layup. And boom, we are set. 61 driving dunk. So we'll put this at a 61. Then standing dunk is going to be a 31. And we have to move around the post control and make this a 70. So 70 post control. And boom, we are set. Moving on to the playmaking stats, though. We have to have 81 pass accuracy. We're going to start off with the playmaking. Move to 81 pass accuracy here. And there we go. 81 pass accuracy. Then we need 89 speed with the ball. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, 89 ball handle is what I meant. Yeah, 89 ball handle. Not speed with the ball. 89 ball handle. So we'll move that up to an 89. There we go. And then speed with the ball needs to be at a 71. And we are set there. Moving on to shooting now. Let's make the mid-range a 77. 77 mid-range for D. Wade. Then a 77 three-pointer. So 77 mid-range and also for the pointer. And then for the free throw, we need it just about there. And we're going to put this at a 79. So 79 free throw there. And that is all the shooting, playmaking, and finishing. Now let's move on to defense. 69 interior defense. Nice. 69 interior defense. And we are now at a 68. That's the max it can go. 86 perimeter defense. So 86 for perimeter. 
There we go. Let's make this an 86. There we go. All right, now we need 85 steel. 85 steel. And we are now at 85. 57 block. 57. There we go. Then for rebounding, we need 55 and 59. So 55 for the offense. And then 59 for the defense. So 59. Got to bump this down a little bit more. There we go. And that is the defense. All set right there. 83 speed. So let's pull this at 83 speed. And then we need an 81 excel. And then for strength, we need 74. 74 strength. Vertical, we need 78. And then finally, we need to make our stamina here a 94. So let's make this a 94 for the stamina. And you guys have actually a lot left over. At least you should. So there you go. Now you guys have a lot left over for this D-weight. If you guys want to get the three point up a little bit more, you guys can do so. Get up to an 82. Then you guys can also update like the strength if you guys want for D-weight or just make it whatever you guys want. You guys have a lot left over. He's a pretty solid build too. You almost have 20 badges a piece. You don't have 20 badges a piece, but you're kind of right around there, man. 18 defense, 18 playmaking, 20 shooting, and 16 finishing. So this D-weight build is actually very, very solid. Make the takeovers, whatever you guys want. It does not matter. You guys will see that we have pretty much made a replica D Wade build. So it's an inside out shot creator. And as you guys see, it even has the shades of Dwayne Wade right there, DeJounte Murray, and Terry Rozier. So a lot of good names right there, but we just made D Wade. Next up, let's go with the Joker, Nikola Jokic. So center, jersey number 15, Nikola Jokic right here. Moving on, we have to make our height 611. So 611 for the height. Weight is going to be very, very high. It's going to be 284. So we have to make the weight 284. And then 7'3 for the wingspan. So he's actually a little bit shorter than uh, some other centers. But, uh, does, you know, he's bad. he's the MVP. So can't really uh, shit on him too much. 90 shot close. Let's go ahead and make this a 90. 90 shot close. And then for the driving layup, we need an 83. So 83 driving layup. Here we go. 83. And then we need a 67 driving dunk. 67. Here we go. And then we need an 82 standing dunk. So there we go. 82. And then we need to change our post control to an 87. So 87 post control, and we are set for the finishing. Moving on to shooting, we need an 89 mid range. So he's got a lot of mid range on him, but I believe we can only max it out to actually an 89. So that's perfect. 72, we need, uh, we need 72 for the three pointer. So 72, we are set there. I believe we'll make a decent amount of uh, three pointers, but you know, you have to get a little bit lucky at times. You have to make sure you guys green. If you guys are going to shoot threes with Jokic, but you can make all the mid ranges that you guys want with this build. 85 pass accuracy. So here we go. 85 pass accuracy. Then we need a 68 ball handle. 68 ball handle. And then 52 speed with the ball. And that is our playmaking, shooting, and finishing. Defense. Obviously, we've got a lot of, uh, you, you know, we got some decent defense for uh, Jokic. He's also have a little bit higher, to be honest. But that is uh, what he's at right there. So 60, what do we have there? 63, 54. That's supposed to be a 63 and 53. All right. And then stealing, we need a 58. 58 for the steal. There we go. And then for blocking, we need a 54. So here we go. 54 for the stealing. Then, uh, I'm sorry, we need 50. Yeah, okay, I was right. 54 blocking. 58 steal, 54 blocking. Then for rebounding, we need 60 on offense. So it's really low for offense. But for defense, man, we need a 90 defensive rebound. So here we go. Going to bump this down to a 90. There we go. We need to put this back down to a 60. Physical stats here. We have a lot of good physicals here. We need 55 speed. Here we go, 55 speed, perfect. And then 54 excel, 54 excel, that's maxed out. Strength, we need 85, 85 strength for Nikola Jokic here, 85. And then we need to change our vertical here to a 55. So 55 vertical, and then for stamina, we need 89. So 89 stamina, and then we are set. And that is actually pretty much perfect. That's, that's literally the next gen Nikola Jokic build right here. So. Literally the same exact thing. He's got 21 finishing, 21 shooting, 15 playmaking, and 11 defensive badges. Make the uh, takeovers, whatever you guys want, and let's continue here. And you guys can see the build that we've made is an inside the arc score, and it should be shades of Jokic. And yeah, it's Sabonis, Jokic, and Vucevic. So it's so literally the exact next gen build, um, you know, for current gen. So that's Jokic right there, the Joker. Just unfortunately, you cannot get the name of the Joker, but it is literally a replica build of uh, Nikola Jokic right there. Next up, let's go with Xanos, also known as Zion Williamson. So power forward here, jersey number three. Let's set it here. Power forward, jersey number three. Moving on though, we have to make our height 6'6". Six, six. So let's make it 6'6", six, six, and then 265 for the weight. 6'6", six, six, 265. Wingspan gonna be 6'10". Here we go. Messing around with the attributes now. We need 87 shot close. So 87 close shot here. 
Here we go, 87, and we are set. Then we need a 94 driving layup, so let's make this a 94 real quick. There we go. Then a 93 driving dunk. Here we go, 93. And then for the standing dunk, we have to make this a 90. So he's got a lot of good finishing here. Obviously, at Zion, he freaking better. 86, post control here. Dude, Zion also slimmed down, man. I feel like we say that all the time, but yeah, he's, he's slimmed down a little bit, man. <laughs> we'll see how he does this season, man. I'm kind of excited to see Zion back out there. 70 mid-range and then 70 for the uh, three-point shot. So I definitely overdid it on these because they're both supposed to be at a 70. And also, actually, the free throw has to also be a 70. So 70s across the board for shooting. And you guys have now finished finishing and shooting. Moving on, though, to playmaking. 61 pass accuracy. I will say this is definitely very, very low. I'm not sure if I'd want to rock with a 61 pass accuracy, but especially with how the game is now. But 70 speed with the ball. Here we go. 70 speed with the ball. You guys are set there. Defense and rebounding. We need a 55 interior defense. 55. Here we go. We're going to bump this back down to a 55. 51 perimeter defense. I will say the defense on this build is kind of it's kind of garbage, man. <laughs> 38 for the steal, so you're not going to be able to steal very much. 52 blocking, though. So 52 blocking is not too, too terrible. Uh, but it is kind of bad. <laughs> 63 offensive rebounding. And then 75 for the defense. So 63 and then 75 for the defense. Moving on to physical stats here, let's make this an 81. 81 speed for him right here. Acceleration is going to be a 79. There we go, max that out. 86 strength, so we're going to get this up a lot. I wish he had more strength, to be honest. And then for vertical, we need 94. So he's going to have a lot of vertical on him, man. Max out the vertical. And then for stamina, make this a 79. As you guys can see, this is the exact build between next gen and last gen, current gen, whatever you guys want to call it. This is the same exact build, man. So a lot of badges on him. 29 finishing, 12 shooting, 10 playmaking, and 6 defense. So he's really not going to have too much defense, which definitely does suck a lot. But uh, he's still very, very solid, man. Especially when it comes to finishing. You're going to be able to finish like crazy. Interior finisher right here. Shades of Zion Williamson, of course. Because it's the same exact build between next gen and current gen. Also known as the Xanos build. Rounding out every single position. We are now going to go with small forward here. Jersey number two. And this is, of course, going to be the claw Kawhi Leonard. All right, here we go. So 6'7". Make his height 6'7". And then for weight, you guys want 225 for the weight. Wingspan is going to be a 7-3, so excited to see Kawhi out there again this season, but shot close, 90. We're going to make the shot close, a 90 here for the claw, Kawhi Leonard. Here we go, 90. Driving layup, we need 82 for the driving layup. Here we go, 82. Driving dunk has to be a 77, so not too, too shabby right there. I'm really going to like this build, I think. I think Kawhi's build is kind of fire, not going to lie. I kind of like this build a little bit. Let me know what you guys think. 81 post control, though on him right here so you got a lot of post control on him 81 right there moving on to shooting here he's got pretty solid shooting man 85 mid-range three point is definitely a little bit weak i think for Kawhi, but it is what it is so 85 right there three point is going to be a 76 so it's definitely kind of weak at a 76 but you do have an 83 free throw and you guys can also finish very very well so he's very very good when it comes to finishing and also he's got some shooting on him as well especially towards mid-range so definitely a pretty solid build Again, I just wish he had more three-point. We'll see if we have leftover points at the end. 72 pass accuracy. Ball handle is going to be up to a 78. So 78 for the ball handle. And you guys want 75 speed with the ball. So 75 speed with the ball right there. 74 into your defense. Here we go. 74 into your defense. All right. Here we go. 74. And then we need a 92 perimeter defense. All right. 92 perimeter defense. 77 stealing. All right, it's 43 block. All right, 43 block. And then we need to change the offensive rebounding to a 35. So bump this down to a 35. And then you guys need this the uh, de the defensive rebound here to be a 71. I messed up all the stats now. <laughs> I went way too far. 71, and we need the offensive rebounding to go back down to his 35. And we are okay there. I think I'm, did I mess up anything else? I don't think I did. All right, now we're moving on to the physicals here. We need 84 speed. So 84 speed. For Kawhi, pretty solid, not gonna lie, man. He's got a lot of speed towards him. That's really, really good for when it comes to his finishing and all that different stuff, but and just in general. But 82, I'm sorry, we have to make this an 82 strength. Here we go, 82. And then for vertical, we need a 72. Stamina has to be up to an 89, and we are set after this. So actually, you can only max it out to an 84 for stamina. So no leftover points or anything like that. Kind of hurts when it comes to uh, stamina a little bit there. But you guys can mess around with these if you guys want. 18 finishing, 20 shooting, 15 uh, playmaking and then 14 defensive badges right there for the claw 
Kawhi Leonard. Make whatever takeovers that you guys want for this build right here. And let's move on and see if it gives us the shades of Kawhi Leonard. Two way inside the arc score, shades of, unfortunately, Chris Paul, I'm sorry, Chris Middleton, Paul Pierce, and then Paul George. So that is what we got right there. Uh, the two way inside the arc score. Well, if you guys did enjoy this video, if you guys did, subscribe to the channel right here and check out this video up here that YouTube's recommended for you.